tomorrow in class we will have the opportunity to edit the writing of our peers. There are different marks you make while editing to indicate different corrections. I am going to introduce a few tonight so you will be able to use them correctly tomorrow during our writing lesson. So I have a sentence here. Let's read it together. My fearless cat jumped into the trash can. Now, I don't know about you, but my brain tells me that there is something wrong about this sentence. Let's go back over the parts of the sentence and determine these errors. First, shouldn't that first letter of this sentence be capitalized? To indicate that you need to capitalize a word in a paper, you put three small lines, just like I'm doing, under the letter that needs to be capitalized. This tells the writer that he when he corrects his paper, he will need to capitalize this letter. Now, about this verb. There's something wrong with the tense of this verb, isn't it? We need to add an ed to jump. To insert something that is missing in a sentence, you just point an arrow to where it is in the scene, and then under the arrow, you have to put what you're going to place there. And that is an ed in this case. And this tells the writer that when he corrects his paper that he will have to add an E to, to the word jumped so that it will be the correct tense for the sentence. This sentence is also missing in punctuation. We have determined that this sentence is a statement. To insert a punctuation at the end of a sentence if a, the writer did not do so, we need to place an arrow the same way we did with the ED to the place where it needs to go, and then under the arrow, we need to put that type of punctuation. But this time, we want to circle the punctuation to indicate that it is a punctuation. Now, let's read this together. Write this again to make it correct. My, the capital M, fearless Cat jumped into the trash can. Okay, you can study this tonight, and then tomorrow we will go over this in class. Have a good night.